Yes, the preview of this video is totally true. Riley and Joy met each other in a deleted scene. And let me tell you, those deleted scenes are some of the most interesting ones I have ever seen. They had some great ideas that could have made the movie even better in my opinion. Hopefully, they'll sneak some of that stuff into the sequel. So, what exactly was cut out from the final version? Well, initially, the whole story was on a different track. In the version we got, Joy and Sadness were the main characters. But in the original plan, Joy and Fear were the main ones. This fact alone changes the whole movie. In this one, these characters go through Riley's head, arguing about what's best for Riley. In the drafts, Fear was said to be the film's villain. There she is! Freddy? Fire! Yeah, also, his name was Freddy back then. It looks like he was lining up to be a classic Disney twist villain or something. Check out another footage. Stop! You're not coming back to headquarters, Joy. Riley's better off without you. Wait, I... Get her, boys! In this deleted scene, Joy and Fear turn into giants and run around San Francisco. And it's just great. Oh, Sorry. So in this version, Joy wasn't cool with Riley growing up. She was mad and aggressive about it. There was even a scene where she suggested Riley spits on some girl's face. No way we're going to that. Joy. We should spit in that girl's face. Whoa, whoa, Joy! Easy. Pizza and music isn't a party! Joy didn't look like the Joy we saw in the final movie. She was more like disgust or anger or something. I'm still essential. I am vital to Riley's life. I'll never end up down here in this slum with you has -beens. I'm really happy they cut out that part, because it made the movie worse. But the next scene is awesome. Like I said, Joy wasn't cool with Riley growing up, so she tried to keep her as a kid. Because of this, Joy wandered around Riley's head, searching for a specific memory of Riley skating. I don't know why or how, but it was supposed to keep Riley a kid forever. In this scene, Joy dives into Riley's mind. Unfortunately, the memory of Riley skating gets wrecked. But here's where the scene gets beautiful. Joy actually meets little Riley. I'd love to show you the whole scene at once, but I need to make such pauses so YouTube doesn't mess with my video. You can probably feel how emotional this scene is. I've got goosebumps. They start dancing, and this scene becomes meaningful when you realize it's their farewell. Let's keep dancing like this forever, okay? Riley asks Joy to dance with her forever. Exactly what Joy wanted. Riley. I've wanted this more than anything in the world. But she cannot accept it. But I can't dance with you forever. But right now, there's a brave big girl out there who needs help. After this, they say goodbyes and Joy returns to help teen Riley. This is probably the most emotional scene in all of the Inside Out. Even Bing Bong's death doesn't hit as hard as this one. It's now my favorite scene in the movie, even though it didn't make it to the final cut. I'm just speechless. This scene gets me every time I watch it, and I highly recommend you watch it entirely. It's called Joy Alone. You can find it somewhere. But this video doesn't end here, since many other cool deleted scenes are ahead. So, speaking of Bing Bong, the scene when he dies was supposed to be different as well. Even though I find the initial scene quite good, the final version of this scene seems way more emotional to me. We've all seen the Inside Out sequel teaser, and so it's gonna be about puberty. But actually, there is a deleted scene setting it up. It's called Construction. 
In this one, Bing Bong and Joy explore a part of Riley's mind under construction, specifically a puberty department. There's a swear word library, a sarcasm generator, and more. What's that one? That's the swear word library, and over there's the sarcasm generator, and that's the new center for boy research. It's pretty cool, and I believe it will make it into the sequel in some form. Interestingly, Riley's mind is building this department by getting rid of Imagination Park, and it reflects how we we'll lose our imagination as we grow up, which is kinda sad. The worst part is, to make room for all this new junk, they're getting rid of Imagination Park! What? That's where all the best stuff is. Yeah. Initially, I was upset they didn't include it, but now I'm optimistic it'll show up in the second movie. By the way, Bing Bong was originally a radical nonconformist, quite different from the character we know. The jerks like those, uh, look at them smiling. They won't be smiling when the revolution comes. Still funny, just in a different way. Power to the imaginary people! This is in progress! There's a weird detail in another cutscene. Initially, emotions communicated with Riley through a mic, literally telling her what to do. Neutral response. Uh, he's okay. Yeah, he's okay. Uh, nice work, Freddy. It's a good thing they cut it out, since it made Riley look like a robot or something. Personally, I think the final version with buttons works better. What do you think? Should they have kept it? Also, I think Fear wasn't acting much like Fear in this version. He seemed more confident and even encouraged Joy to talk to people when she didn't want to. Oh, potential friends spotted! Not this again. Maybe we should talk to them. Riley's been at the school for over two months and she doesn't have a single friend. I prefer how Fear turned out in the final version. He became more like real Fear, since he feared most things. Now, there's another good scene with a bunch of interesting ideas. So there's a place where all Riley's imaginary friends gather. Riley might have forgotten about us, but we still have a pretty decent time. Oh my gosh, Mrs. Scribbles! There are even imaginary monsters that Riley thought were hiding in her closet. Now you guys look familiar. We used to hide in Riley's closet. Uh, we had a good run. This is amazing! Imagine if they added a Monsters Inc. character. That would be incredible. In another scene, Riley doesn't want to grow up. She even visits her father's workplace, where he just spell checks some text and that's it. Now you can help me look for words that are misspelled. Oh, there's one. It's shouldn't have an apostrophe right there. There's also an alternative opening scene with various emotions that didn't make it to the final version. Knock it off. Freddy, are you okay? Uh... Any work for us today, Joy? We'll call you if anything comes up. Some deleted scenes were terrific, like when Riley and Joy met each other. It added depth to Joy's character. However, some scenes or concepts weren't as great. For instance, many characters were aggressive and rude. Ultimately, I believe the version we saw in theaters is better overall. What do you think, guys? Would you prefer this alternative version instead? Let me know in the comments. See ya.